So I want to show you that um, you know this latch here is the thing that grabs onto the other one. So I'll show you a little bit more detail later. But um, there's some resistance when you're trying to push it close. It, there's like some uh, set points at which it tries to keep the door open and not move. So I understand that part of it, but um, but. Uh, in terms of like when I close the door, it should not, it should not slam is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if I push it all the way here, right, and all I need to do is push it a little bit more. And then once it hooks on, it would basically grab from the, from the latch the rest of the way. So the question is, how much force do I need to do that? So let's say it's like this, and I reset the force gauge again, and then I'll push on it. And uh, what does it say? 10 pounds of force. So same as opening. Trying to focus, focus, yes. 10 pounds of force to close it. So you really don't need the 50 pounds of force that I measured with the two, two of these units because one of these units only measured 35 pounds and I could not get it on, <laughs> you know, it went all the way here and I, I knew that it had to be more than 35 pounds. So yeah, I don't understand why the need to to close it because I mean when I'm pushing this if I push it like this it, 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 even once you break the momentum of the um, the resistance that the hinges are giving you because it wants to keep at, at certain uh, angles there's really no force so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna push it and then once there's constant pressure right then I'll release, I'll release the hold, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop from here, I'm gonna stop pushing it, and then I'm gonna use this to, to push it the rest of the way. And then I'll show you what it is. The constant pressure required to uh, move the door is about three pounds or two and a half pounds. Why does Tesla need 50 pounds to slam the door? I, th this is like mind boggling to me and I don't, I think it's a, a, a risk. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the, the door at different, different uh, openings, right? And uh, when I close it with the fob, it does a slam you know I think it's just for show because you don't really need it um, like I showed before it's only two pounds of force once you break the tension of the door which is controlled by Tesla right so the hinge itself is controlling this tension and wants to keep the door at that at that level I guess when they're parking at an angle or whatnot it wants to keep uh, a certain tension on the door so it doesn't fall off or go closed or whatever. So if you swing, if you jiggle it, it, you break the tension. So if you jiggle it, you can open it, you know, to the different uh, set, the presets that are in here. I don't, I, I haven't figured out what the presets are, but they, they are there. You can feel it when you're opening the door. But once you apply a constant pressure to it, there's like almost like zero resistance which is about three pounds. And then once you get here, it's a slight push and then the, the hinge does, does the rest of it. So let me get you closer to take a look at what the hinge looks like. So, uh, so. Here is the hinge. I hope you can see it. 
uh, basically once once the once this portion of it goes in uh, this portion of it grabs it and pulls it the rest of the way to lock so you can see that it's going to hit this and then this thing is going to rotate up and then grab it and basically pull the door the rest of the way so here again I can show it to you uh, probably more clear by just pressing it a little bit and you can see that it does it the rest of the way and then if I were to show you like on the top portion like where where the window is right you probably see it a little bit better when I push it once it engages and then you see that the window go up so again I think Tesla needs to probably back off or or do the same uh, uh, algorithm as the opening which is about 10 pounds of force so maybe like have the door instead of accelerate right when you're closing instead of accelerating it towards the the last part of the swing as you can see it goes and then slams it at the end what's the purpose of slamming it i don't i don't understand when you when they have the mechanism to pull it the last uh, quarter or half an inch all you need to do is get it to that latch and that's it as you can see it doesn't require much pressure right and you can do it with even my pinky so let's demonstrate that again when I go when I break the tension can push it with my pinky and then it'll, it'll latch uh, so I don't really understand what this uh, whole thing is about uh, why why they did it this way they really need to change it so that's that's what I'm stressing that they need to change the way this is swinging to close it's just it should be about the same as when it's swinging to open more cautiously as you can see from my other videos that um, <laughs> it basically chopped off uh, a pretty fair chunk of uh, carrot and I can't imagine someone's gonna put their hand here like this for some reason and it's going to get crushed with 50 pounds of force someone's gonna get some bones broken um, so anyway uh, that's my rant and uh, if you haven't seen the other video go 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 see it it is around 50 pounds of force when it's slamming even from from around here it's about 50 pounds of force slamming because I don't I, it sounds impressive right it looks good when it's slamming but uh, from a safety perspective it's not not a good thing so anyway hope this was uh, informative and I uh, hope that new owners uh, know and and are aware of this uh, safety hazard and I hope nobody puts their hand there while it's closing because uh, you're gonna be you're probably gonna break some bones I think 50 pounds is pretty pretty bad uh, so please uh, please like and subscribe thanks